Mac Method Gang, we back with another video, man. Today we got a special guest here, Nightwing J, Jordan McCloud, dude. This guy's a killer, man. He's a he's a beast. So I'm just gonna have him introduce himself. So Jordan, if you will, what's up, man? What's going, what's going on, guys? My name is Jordan McCloud. Um, I'm also a fellow YouTuber myself, and I'm happy to be here, bro. Thank you for bringing me onto your channel and your platform, man. All right, so. We're going to get straight into it, guys. Um, we're going to be talking basically about, you know, looks, maxing body game, self-improvement. Obviously, we're in that space. So uh, first things first, when did you start, man? When did you start your self-improvement journey? Like what, you know, around what time? Yeah, I, I would say, man, honestly, when I truly started to self-improve was the summer leading into my junior year of high school. Or actually, I'll say a little bit before that. It was actually my sophomore year. It was my sophomore year of high school. So it, this was the springtime of 2013. And I started to do calisthenics. I started to do a little bit of resistance training, body weight training um, at my dad's old house. And that was really when I started to build my body up because long story short, there was a time during um, study hall class where this dude who I was cool with at the time, he was pretty much like roasting me about like how skinny my <laughs> arms were in front of a girl that I liked. And she was feeling me too. And I didn't realize at the time he was just, you know, player hating basically, but how a lot of dudes are. Um, but I was already insecure about my arms. I, I knew they were very skinny. And like once he made fun of those, like in front of my arms in front of the girl um, that I liked at the time, man, like I would wear like long sleeve fleece jackets during the springtime. <laughs> and it was, bro, it was hot, man. Like I, I hated doing it, but I hated like showing my arms. And he kind of put like the nail in the coffin of like any like ounce of like, confidence that I had left um, at that time but I am grateful for that time too because that's what like really got me going as far as like wanting to do resistance training and just start to build my body up and then eventually um, the summer of 2013 I ended up joining the soccer team at my school because one of my friends was playing on the soccer team I used to play soccer when I was younger and he was saying like how if I wanted to actually start getting into weightlifting that if I joined a sport I'd be able to get access to the weight training room and the weight training classes for the following year, for my junior year. And at the time, my parents wouldn't get me a gym membership. So I was like, okay, bet. I used to play soccer. Let me join the soccer team, uh, made the team. And then that's how I was able to start like weight training for the first time and have access to the weight room. And I would say from there, that's when I truly began like my self-improvement journey as far as starting to build my body and, and change myself for the better that's what's up so i have kind of a similar story if you guys don't know like my thing is basically like it's the same thing okay i was in uh high school as my sophomore year into junior year um i got flamed basically <laughs> by a chick uh she told me that i was wearing a tank top she basically said i can't wear tank tops and at the time or in that moment i wasn't really like paying attention to her but at this time i started working out but not really like it was like a you know i started working out for like a day during the week maybe twice like it was nothing serious but i but i did want to start right and um so anyways she she roast me she basically is like you're not supposed to be wearing tank tops because you're not ripped you have no muscle you're a stick like why are you wearing tank top and um anyways i went i go about my day and i go on the bus and i start thinking about it and then i try to like brush it off but i was i was thinking about it until i got home I have a big ass mirror in my room and I literally sat there for five minutes staring at myself and was like, dang, she's she's right. Like she's low key. Right. I shouldn't be wearing this. And since that day, um, I didn't let me I didn't let that make me get depressed or anything. I didn't let that. That literally was like the catalyst. Like that was the fuel in the fire that I needed. And I and I actually thanked her, which is the funny part. Like a couple years later, I actually literally DM her. I was like, yo, thank you so much. And I told her and, and it was just it was funny because she started she didn't even know she didn't remember that she said that to me. And it was just the funniest thing. But anyways, so that basically started my journey. And um, but yeah, ever since then, I haven't not worked out a day since, which was that was what, 2018, whatever. Uh, yeah, basically 2018. So for six years straight, I've been working out every day. Obviously, like um, I'm not saying I've been to the gym every single day, but I definitely have been working out every single day since uh that day but as far as you like did you have to um did you have a problem with like acne or like your 
like looks maxing like your face or was it just more like body wise where you were like i really need to get my body up like how would you say your grooming and stuff like that was yeah like I, no that's a good um good question for me i didn't like really struggle so much like with like acne or anything like that but i do feel like my face could have still used improvements like i did get female traction for my face when i was younger um but really for me personally what i had like low confidence about was my body and I noticed that when I did start to even pack on a little bit of muscle mass, even when I was in junior year, but more so towards the tail end of junior year, going into senior year of high school, that's when I really started to pack on a little bit more mass. And I started to notice more female attention and traction because I started to pack on a little bit of lean muscle mass, newbie gains from you know the weight training. Um, but also what I noticed facially that started to work for me better was growing my curls out, you know, growing my curls Facts. out, <laughs> um, right. Growing the curls out. Cause I used to have just like a all, like all around buzz. So growing the curls out. And then, um, I used to have braces when I was younger. So once I got my braces off that helped too. And then I actually did start to get on a skincare routine, um, like using oxy pads and stuff like that. And just keeping, you know, keeping, you know, a, uh, a nice little routine going because I would struggle with like acne and stuff from time to time, but it would be like a few blemishes here and there, not like crazy acne, which I know you have, you know, a great story about your personal transformation. Um, a lot of like my looks maxing that I've done facially have been more so like growing out, you know, beard, you know, getting a better haircut dialed in, right. Staying on top of my skincare routine, as far as learning more about like sun sunscreen and retinol and all yeah. that stuff. <laughs> Um, just all those things, but a lot of really where my transformation, um, occurred really was with my physique. I would say like certain things with my face. Yes. But a lot of it also had to do with my body as well. Yeah. So like for me, like you said, yeah, I did. I had like the craziest acne. I just dropped the video, like I think two days ago or a day ago or something where I should basically shows like <laughs> the thumbnail, it just damn near a, like a scary image like i actually had someone dm me it's like yo uh thanks for letting me know about the jump scare <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and i'd be cracking up dude no but yeah but man i had the worst like acne on the planet i had like the i had like super super cystic acne man like i could barely move my face without it hurting like like literally i could barely laugh because it would hurt like crazy like i had dude it was it was yeah. the worst you know what i mean and um so yeah, my whole thing was messed up, bro. I had like the crazy teeth, like cheese grater teeth, like <laughs> uh, you know, I was wearing glasses. I was a twig, man. I went from like nothing, bro. Like I had nothing <laughs> saving me <laughs> at that point. Um and funny enough though, even throughout those times, like obviously like I was like self-conscious a little bit, but I but I wasn't I wouldn't say like I was like completely um depressed or anything. But I was obviously, of course, I'd be like self-conscious, like if someone's looking at you and all they you can clearly see them just looking around at your acne and how like crazy it is, which in time I can't really blame them because it's like, yeah, it is insane. Like, it's hard for you not to look, you know what I mean? So I had to fix mm -hmm. all that, man. Like I had to hop on Accutane, which was like this intense, like um, obviously acne medication that I had to say, because I've tried literally everything on the planet. Like I've tried every cream from like different parts of the world like bro i've tried everything you know nothing worked mm -hmm. um and so i had to hop on accutane which i actually almost died on <laughs> accutane which is bro yo dude my liver because one of the things um that happens with accutane is it literally weakens your bones and it really hurts your um your liver and it, like it really damages it and what happened with me and that's why you have to get your blood you have to get your blood drawn every every um month so they can regulate it to see. But for me, they noticed irregular, uh, you know, things wrong with my blood samples when mm -hmm. I did it. So I had to get my blood drawn every single week because at the time my liver was like going to fail, like literally like I was going to die. So I, they had to lower the dose to like I was on six at the peak. I think I was on 70 milligrams, I want to say, which is super, super high. And when they obviously found that out that I was like literally dying, they had to lower it to like 10 milligrams. So it, it was this whole thing, man. It was it was a, like a rough time at that time it was actually a rough time. But 
obviously i got over that and um mm. now i have like clear skin and i've been on a skincare routine i obviously know like the dye is super important when it comes to skin as well which at the time i had the worst diet on the planet oreos ramen soda like horrible um mm. But yeah, enough about me, man. So what benefits have you noticed with men and women? Well, first, let's start with guys. Like, like during high school, even after high school, you don't have to just talk about high school, but like, well, let's say like both high school and out of high school. Like what benefits have you seen like in terms of treatment wise or, or anything wise uh, once you started like obviously getting in shape, obviously, you know, self-improvement? Yeah, so when I was in high school, as far as like men are concerned in regards to like the treatment that they started to um, give me was like a lot of the dudes that I was in weight training with, they, I noticed that they were starting to respect me a lot more because they saw how I went from being a twig as well to starting to pack on a little bit of muscle. And I wasn't big by any means, not especially compared to how I am now. Like I wasn't big by any means, but I still made drastic changes from someone that was just starting to do body weight training to someone that was actually packing on a little bit of muscle in proportion and size, just a tad bit from doing weight training. And I, I remember there was one dude, he was a basketball player. His name is Chris. And he was like, oh man, like Jordan, like you're looking good, bro. Like your arms are starting to get bigger. Right. And that just like my confidence yeah. just went <laughs> through the roof. Yeah. My confidence went through the roof when he said that. And I remember like there was like some dudes that would kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say bully me, um, definitely not bully me, but like would try to like poke fun at me, kind of roast me from time to time when I was a freshman in high school. And I remember that was like really the only classes I had with them. It was actually a daily math class because I, I sucked at math. So I had, da <laughs> I had daily math. So it was like a math class every day in high school. But I remember around senior year of high school, um, this the same dudes who would kind of like, you know, roast me from time to time they i noticed that they start to respect me more they start to say yo what's going on jordan like okay jordan i see you like i i noticed the respect and the shift of treatment towards me drastically changed because they saw i was, I was getting in shape i was packing on muscle mass but they also saw that women were really starting to check for me a lot more fact yeah and, and i mean and it is what it is but like men will definitely respect you more when they can see that you can attract women by and large. Again, you have a lot of, you know, hating dudes out there for sure, but men do respect other men that can attract other women to him. And then on top of the fact that you're putting in the work and building your body up, I mean, that's, that is a recipe for receiving respect from other men. Right. So that's, that's a treatment that I've experienced from them in high school. And then really outside of um, high school is just a lot of dudes um, giving me respect, you know, complimenting me on my physique, um, inspiring them in some ways, shape or form, like through social media or in person. And even like with doing Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, a lot of the dudes that I, you know, spar with, roll with and, and uh, drill with in the classes, like they're constantly like talking about how like, you know, jacked I am or how lean I am or how yeah. I have zero <laughs> body fat and, you know, all those things are saying how strong I am during like grappling and rolling. And that that's just been said by multiple people. And I don't go looking for compliments. I don't go looking for validation from those dudes or people in general like that, but it's just, I don't know, man, they just, they give you a lot of respect. They compliment you a lot. They, they, uh, you know, definitely like to give you credit when they see that you're constantly putting in the work, especially if you're somebody that's been lifting for a long time and you've been able to maintain your physique and the aesthetic of your physique for a long time. Because I, I'm sure you have too. Like you've seen like a lot of dudes who will get in shape and they'll they'll look aesthetic, they'll look you know good, but they can't really maintain the results and then they fall off. Whereas nice. like if you're someone that can build your body up, build the aesthetics and maintain it for a while. I mean, people also respect that as well. Yeah, because um, just building off of that, like that is like key. Because, yeah, you do see a lot of people like they'll get in shape for like the summer or something or like, oh, it's coming up. So they'll be in shape for like two, three months. And then like winter, they just crap out. And I, I mean, everyone has their own thing, but sometimes they'll fall off and they'll just fall off. Like my cousin, he's a prime example. Like he'll get in shape 
and then he'll just fall off for like a year like and then he'll just you know what i mean like currently now mm-hmm. like he's like out of shape and he and he's like damn like i wish i didn't fall off you know all this stuff and people definitely do see that because um it just shows the dedication and discipline and how it isn't just like like it's something it's literally like your lifestyle it's not just like a, a thing you're doing for a season or something like no like i've been consistent since i started which was six years ago dude and and i've gained steadily gained like ever since like that's why even with me and my like program my training like I, I don't just want to get let people get in shape and then they fall off immediately after like like mm-hmm. to me that's stupid the goal is to maintain the lean aesthetic physique like you want to have that physique so that's why you slowly build it so it, it stays with you it's not just something that you just rush and get and then two three months you're back to how you started like what i don't see the point in that like i don't know mm-hmm. that's why i never really believed in like the whole like oh dirty bulking or like super bulking like i never i never did that like i've been lean bulking since i was 149 till i'm like 173 right now mm-hmm. and i'm like i don't i'm, I'm like nine percent body fat like straight like you know what i mean and and i've mm-hmm. steadily increased in size but as far as me for uh benefits i get from like men in high school like you said, like we have pretty much have like the same type of story, man. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I was getting bullied, but definitely like, you know, like it people are more quick to like um I guess like pick on you or, or just like like play with you. Not necessarily bullying you, but you know what I mean, like tease you in a way mm-hmm. or whatever. Like, cause they see that you have no like you don't have anything, like you're just a twig or whatever. But anyways, as I was getting in shape, um definitely people were noticing because although at the time i wasn't big at all like how i am now and and really but at the time compared with the people i was obviously from where i came to like slowly building up and the people that i'm uh, surrounded with like i just looked bigger than them so automatically they would say like oh you're jacked you're huge even though i wasn't but it definitely gave me like so much respect bro it's crazy like literally there's this one time um that i was in the locker bay trying to get my book bag or a textbook or whatever i was getting and these two guys were in front of the locker my locker and i told them like hey guys can you like move over i need to get my stuff and one of them was like or what like you know trying to like test me like what what are you gonna do and his friend was actually like oh you don't want to get in with him i was wearing a jacket so at the time dude i was quick to take off my jacket i'm Cause I'll, this is another thing, guys. When you start getting in shape, you start feeling yourself. You feel like you can fight anyone. <laughs> you yeah. feel like like you don't want. Obviously, you don't want to like want to start fights, but you'll you'll damn near like let it happen just so you can fight. <laughs> so that's just how so you can show out. Yeah, literally. So that's what I was on. Like I wasn't trying to start fights, but to me, this was oh, this is my perfect opportunity to fight. Like, I was, like, ready. Like, dude, I was I was excited. I couldn't wait. So I'm over there taking off my, my uh, jacket or sweater, whatever I had on. And obviously, I'm wearing a tank top. Um, I was feeling myself. And the guy was like, oh, you don't want to get in with him. Like, dude, this guy puts in work because he goes, he was obviously always in the weight room. And you'd always see me, like, every day, dude, going hard and hard and hard. And obviously, when I took it off, you can see that I have a little bit of size. Yeah, I was still small, but compared to them, it was, uh, uh, you know, I was a little bit bigger. So that basically, like, mm. it was such, like, dude, I felt like a freaking anime character. Like, I felt like I was the main mm. protagonist at the time, dude. It was the dopest oh, yeah. thing. And that just reinforced me to keep, like, going hard, like, every day in the gym and getting in shape and all that stuff. And outside of high school, for me, dude, it's the constant... You know the the nod that every yeah. dude that's like with everyone, bro. Like literally, obviously, random people you've never seen, like stuff like that. And I'm not saying people that aren't in shape don't get that. Like I'm sure they do, but it's definitely noticeable when you're when you clearly stand out from like just mm-hmm. like the rest of like people. Like people will just go out of their way to like dap you up randomly. Like dude, strangers off the street will literally like be quick to like help you with something or like you know like things like that yep. man. it's just like it's crazy because obviously I, I know what it was before i was <laughs> in shape and i know what it is now when i'm in shape you know what i mean and it just helps man it, it helps and what you said about the um women thing obviously when guys see that like multiple like you can get girls basically 
they they are quick to kind of like they want to hang with you in a way because they feel like yeah. this dude this dude knows what's up and he's he okay he can potentially help me out when it comes to like attracting girls because like i'm gonna be honest man if you if you just look good and and like you have like that people around you like more and more people want to be with you because they see that you're you're kind of rare i guess you would say because you stand out from the average person but Mm -hmm. as far as women what would you say the benefits you've seen with them like um let's just talk about out of high school what have you like how you know how has that impacted you yeah so i will say this like for me attracting women is just a lot easier it's it's a lot easier you kind of you realize like as you improve your looks more and you get in shape you look max you do all that you're gonna notice that a lot of the stuff that you hear that people have told you about how to attract women and how you gotta chase women and, and all this game as far as you and gotta say this hoops. that the third <laughs> yeah all this stuff you realize how much bs it is and how a lot of what people teach you about attracting women a lot of it is from a selling and convincing mindset but no one really talked about being the person that attracts like your marketing, dialing your marketing, your branding, because anyone that understands business is that the better your marketing is, the easier it is to close. Now notice how I say easier to close. I'm not saying that knowing how to speak to women, knowing how to be charismatic or social, you know, not being needy, all those things are important, obviously being masculine, being a leader, knowing how to have good conversations, all those things, of course, are important. You still have to know how to lead an interaction, you know, know how to close. But the close is a lot easier to make happen when she's already attracted to the marketing, to the brand, right? To the branding of you, to the look. And I noticed that once I got in shape, I improved, you know, my facial aesthetics as well, as far as like growing my beard out, getting a good skincare routine, finding a good hairstyle that suits me, which one thing that I did notice um, that as I was speaking with you earlier, that you actually had me come to a realization is that from sophomore year to junior year, I noticed like my face was, I had like more baby fat when I was a sophomore, but junior year, that's kind of when I noticed that my facial structure started to change a little bit. And I noticed that the the two comp, the two denominators that stick out to me was I was starting to do soccer, like play soccer. Cause before that I wasn't playing sports. Cause yeah. I know you have a similar story to me. Like we were both video game addicts. So <laughs> all I did was play, all I did was play video games. Like I used to skateboard from like sixth grade to eighth grade. Then I stopped for video games, which was stupid, but that's what happened. So I was, I wasn't an athlete. I wasn't active until the summer of 2013. So I was playing soccer. So I was burning calories and I was lifting weights right so and i noticed like when i did those two activities that's when my facial structure did start to change a little bit right and then when i grew my beard out when i got a good skincare routine when i found a good hairstyle that suited me right and then of course when i started to pack on lean muscle mass it was just a lot it was a lot easier to attract women to me but i was also able to attract the type of women that i wanted in high school when i was younger but did believe that I could get couldn't really get because they were going for the athletes, which is another reason why I really wanted to get in shape as far as like what truly motivated me to get in shape was seeing the type of attention that the athletes were getting from women. And that was the type of attention that I wanted because like I would get girls from time to time, but it didn't seem like it was it wasn't nearly as efficient and easy as it is now especially as you get older because yeah. most people in high school like maybe the, the athletes the dudes that were getting women like that most of them fall off dude oh now, my god man oh yeah oh, oh yeah bro. most of the dudes most of the dudes that you see now have felt have fallen off but when you're that dude that has constantly kept improving since high school it 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 makes you more of a rarity because number one most people don't take care of themselves but Number two, it's like you're getting you're getting better with age if you're actually improving yourself, you're putting in the work. And women know they know that they see that they see that there isn't that many there isn't that many viable options of men left. So then when you're that dude that looks good to them, you're taking care of yourself, right? You're going to stick out to them a lot more. And if they are into your look, if they are into your archetype, right? Because women do have types like there are women who only maybe date 
white men or mixed men or Hispanic men, black men, you know, whatever. But if she's into your archetype, into your look, and on top of that, you take care of yourself, you're in shape, you look good. It's going to be so much easier to attract them, man. And a lot of the stuff that men were sold, you know, lies on, in my opinion, as far as like, you got to say this, you got to do this, you got to <laughs> constantly be doing this, you know, chasing her and all that stuff. All that's BS, bro. Like you, you will get to a point. I mean, varying degrees of results, right? But you, at least for me, I've gotten to a point where, like, you know, some dudes aren't going to like this. I'm just going to warn you. I, I, I will interact with women. I'm like, in, in clothes. I'm like, I don't, I don't know where the game was. I don't, I don't, I don't know where, where this game, like, where was the game that happened here? You know, <laughs> it's what just I'm saying? a normal like, conversation. And, <laughs> yeah, and and listen, like, I'm. I'm not saying like you you just can be careless and you can yeah. make silly mistakes and stuff like that. Even if you're a good looking man and you take care of yourself, still still don't do like the common mistakes as far as like over pursuing, chasing, basically being needy, constantly hitting her up, not creating space, like being indifferent. Like, yeah, all those things matter. But I believe a lot of those things are common sense for men. It's just a lot of those yeah. men are getting passed up by women because they're not they're not checking off that physical attraction you know, check, basically, they're not checking off that test, that first test, like is she physically attracted to you. And once you get to that level, you'll see that's a lot easier to attract them. And just the behavior, the treatment, the femininity, their, their attractiveness as well. Those all those things are there when you take care of yourself, because there are a lot less men who take care of themselves that actually look good to women than there are beautiful women. There are there's so many more beautiful women than there are <laughs> good looking men. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's so like literally, bro. Like uh for me it's a little different because I've I've been in a relationship for seven years and mm -hmm. I've been with my girl for seven years. And obviously she's been with me since I looked like a freaking monster until like I look it out. And which is yeah. is like it's like dude, I could laugh at myself, so I could say this stuff. I I find it funny to me because it's cool just looking at the progression. But mm -hmm. she's been with me and like the lowest times, bro. And and sometimes I even ask her, I'm like, how the hell did you did you like stay? Like I wouldn't even have blamed you at the time. Mm -hmm. But that just goes to show, like, um, obviously personality and like who you are as a person obviously matters. Like, of course, like, like people, like yeah, we talk about looks, maxing body game, all this stuff. But obviously, who you are as a person definitely matters. But we're just talking about, like like you said, like the marketing, the branding. Like, dude, you can be the mm -hmm. nicest person on the planet, but if you look homeless, bro, or you look like <laughs> you just like you just don't like it, you're not even going to get the foot in the door. Like, because she's not going to want to come to the door, bro. I'm sorry. Like, right. there is no, you know what I mean? So that's why we talk mm -hmm. about this, because it's like. You might be the coolest person. You might know all this stuff, but if the branding, the marketing, what are you presenting? Is it, you know, if it's bad, bro, it's just not going to work. But right. you know, yeah, for me and my perspective from being in a relationship, everything got better, bro. Like literally not saying that it wasn't better before. Obviously we've been in a relationship. We've been, you know, but you can clearly tell, like she will literally tell me like, like, for example, like, I'm going to talk out of high school when I started really, like, packing on size now, how I am, and, you know, all this stuff, dude. Like, dude, even, like, when, you know, we're cuddling and stuff, like, bro, you can clearly see, feel her grabbing your muscles, like, feeling you out. Like, she'll literally be like, dude, you look so good, or baby looks so good in that um clothes, man. Like, and the way they, they, they just look at you is just... Dude, it, it's just different, guys. Like, people that say, like, this isn't a thing or they're like, oh, man, it doesn't matter. Like, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. You hear countless people, countless people in relationships that when the guy falls off and and becomes unattractive, like, the girl is going to have wandering eyes. Like, she's going to be, like, looking for who's, you know, I'm not saying every girl, everyone's, you know, but. It happens, like, because if you fall out of a, a attraction, like, the initial attraction, like, you're going to, obviously, you're going to try to work with the guy and be like, hey, you're falling off and things like that. But <laughs> if the guy just keeps, you know, it's just done, like, she's probably going to cheat on you, bro. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm just being honest. And you can chime I mean, in if you want, but it's just. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you're absolutely correct because there's people that I know that were in relationships where the bedroom was completely dead and their woman would never want to have sex with them 
right? They would never want to be intimate with them. And the commonalities that I've seen in those relationships was that the man was out of shape. He was out of shape. Yeah, bro. It, it, and, and, and he was out of shape. And it, it, in my opinion, I think one of the best ways, I'm not saying this is the only reason why there are dead bedrooms in relationships, but I think one of the best preventive, preventative measures, excuse me, is getting in shape, having a body, having a look to Dude. you that's actually desirable to your woman. It's like, it's so common sense that it's just like, it's crazy. It blows my mind how like people will argue that. Like, mm. like obviously, guys, like I have to keep saying this because people will think that all it is is just like the look and stuff. No, obviously, when you're in a relationship with someone, it's more than just the look. But the look is obviously like you have to be attracted to the person, bro. Like you do. Like you, you have to be yeah. attracted to the person, or else you wouldn't even been in the relationship in the first place. The whole part, the whole beginning was built off of attraction. You see someone, you're like, oh, they look good. I want to see what, what they're about. And you you expect, like, for them to keep that same initial attraction or, or even get better. Like, I've gotten way better. Even my girl's gotten way better. Have She's improved over time. Like, obviously, she was bad before. But obviously, her seeing me putting in work, getting my diet right, getting my physique right, just working on myself, like, on every a- facet like I said, like I used to be like a freaking loser gamer, like eat the worst foods on like, just horrible, <laughs> like terrible. Mm-hmm. And obviously by me switching that around, she kind of followed my lead. Like she completely changed her diet. She doesn't drink soda anymore. We only drink water because she saw me only drink water. Now she only drinks water. She doesn't eat chips. She doesn't eat candy. Like, and this has been years. Like I haven't drank soda in, since 2019, like and you know what i mean i'm not saying you have you guys have to do you know that stuff but i'm just saying like it's easier her for her to follow like your lead just because she sees like the benefits you're getting and how much you're improving yourself and in turn she's gonna want to improve herself because she knows you like at the end of the day she knows like oh i better like keep up because why you know what i mean it's just mm-hmm. that's just what it is and i'm not trying to sound like oh, everything's so like vain and vanity or whatever but it's just it's just how it is like i don't know any other way to, it's just what it is it's human nature like man but that's just how it is so uh to move on from that do you think it's unfair that not everyone gets this treatment like do you think you know like like is it why everyone should be treated like this way do you you know do you think it's unfair that people stand out or whatever I mean, I, I think we can say so many things in life are unfair, but it is what it is. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, like, I mean, I I know that's not going to be a, a well received answer, but like, there's so many things that I mean. Okay, yeah, that can be that can be something that you can look at. Like, man, it's not fair that he looks like this. He has that genetics, but like, there's so many things that happen in life that even like for people that are good looking and blessed with genetics, they have to face certain things in life that may be unfair to them. Is it related to attracting women? Maybe not could be as well, but there's so many things in life that happen that are unfair. So like, sure, but that's, you know, that goes for really anything in life. But I will say that I think a lot of men, I I think a lot of men don't, give themselves a chance to actually put in the work to do what they can to maximize what they have that's in their control to actually see to what varying degree can they get this type of treatment because i i mean yes degrees of results will vary but i think a lot of men can actually i think men can actually achieve this type this type of treatment a lot more and more likely than not likely than not receiving this treatment because bro i I mean dude i just literally got back from the gym 30 minutes ago and i go to the gym and shout out to the dudes who are obviously training like of course like we all start from ground zero but like i'm just looking at all these dudes i'm like man again shout shout out to them for putting in the work they're putting in the work but like i'm just looking around i'm like man these dudes like these dudes aren't like in elite shape at all. Like, and, and you can say I'm not in elite shape either, but like, I, I believe I'm in pretty, pretty no, yeah, shape yeah, that, that's like ideal. Like, 
you know what I mean? I'm just you can keep going. I'm just gonna sit this yeah. real quick. Like you're in like yeah. the ideal like body frame. Like I feel like like most like most um girls they they don't want like a huge ass like you know crazy like you know the typical person wants that just nice abs clearly can tell that you you know have some sort of shape and mm -hmm. you know you know like you're in that that shape like that's the shape you know what i mean no thank you man I, I yeah and i was just gonna say like i don't when i go to the gym even i don't see like another i'm not saying i'm the only one i'm just saying when i go to the gym at the times that i do i don't see anyone else where i can like look at them objectively and be like okay this dude's in elite shape or and this dude's like in really good shape i don't see that and yeah. I, I the dudes who say that like building your body building aesthetic masculine body doesn't work body game doesn't work I, all that's bs to me because i'm like i don't i literally can't tell you the last time i've seen like a dude that's like an elite shape unless i go to my martial arts gym of dudes who are clearly putting yeah. in the work <laughs> yeah yeah you dude. know what i'm saying no. so like i i don't think i really don't if you're not this is here this is my perspective because you know, women do have certain preferences as far as body types. Some women do like men who are a little bit heavier, maybe not as defined. On the flip side, there are there are women who like dudes who are a little bit skinnier, skinnier, excuse me. But I will say this, man, before you, if you're not in shape right now, you don't think, you know, building your body up is going to work. I will say this, get to anywhere from 10 to 12% body fat, build broad shoulders, a wide back, get six pack abs, you know, have sleek proportionate legs, you know, well-developed biceps, triceps, nice upper chest, right? Traps, you know, work on your neck. You know what I'm saying? Build those muscle groups up and actually get in that shape. Truly get in that shape. Don't, don't half-ass it. Get in that shape and see the type of treatment that women will then start to give you. And I say the 10 to 12%. Just because that's also going to play a role in how your your face also looks too. Because the leaner dude. you get, the more attractive you're going to look facially. Exactly. Like, bro, everything you said is facts. Like, <laughs> it, I laugh because the way you said it's true. Like, I I respect anyone that is actually putting the work in the gym and stuff. Like, I love seeing people mm -hmm. working out, especially Absolutely. if they're like overweight and like you know obese. Like, seeing them like really mm -hmm. go hard. Like, I love seeing that. Like me, you know, that's what I like seeing. Me but too. in terms of just like seeing people like me, well, it's different for me because the gym that I go to is literally like a bodybuilding like gym. Mm -hmm. So like I'm surrounded by like monsters, yeah. like like over the top bodybuilders and all that stuff. Obviously, there's people that are more on a normal side, on the normal side. But you get what I'm saying. But it yeah. changed because even now, like I left work actually, and I I went to the gym. Um, before I actually hopped on this call, I was like, oh, I got to get this workout in at least like uh, 40 minutes, which I had. I did like a 40 minute workout and I went and, and I went to the gym next to my job, which is a more like commercial gym. Um, I don't know if they have edge in uh, wherever you are at, but it's like it's called edge fitness. But it's like a, so. it's like kind of like a planet fitness. Like you know, it's like a more commercial gym. They have it everywhere. And mm -hmm. uh, I actually used to go to that gym um, oh, like what, years ago, but. That's besides the point. Anyways, I went there again, and the 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 people you see is way like different than what you when I see you when I'm used to seeing at the bodybuilding gym with like the boxers and the and the you know people literally like going hard. It's like way different, and so when I'm walking there, dude, because I haven't been there in like I'd say like two years now, two and a half years, and I've gotten way bigger since I was two years ago. Like like I said, I've sl I constantly every year I, I grow a little bit a little bit a little bit and so even like uh seeing the people there dude everyone was just staring at me like because i i'm like like dude i stood out completely like it was crazy i'm like wow mm -hmm. and it's just a cool feeling it is definitely a cool feeling but like you said like once you get in that shape man like really actually get in the shape not just like a little bit and then you're like oh this doesn't work and i can even say this from one of the people i'm working with like, literally, this dude had, like, I would say he was at 20% body fat, 19. And within, like, a month and a half, two months, actually, it's about to be two months in, like, eight days, he's dropped down. I think he's at, like, 15 right now, 15, 14%. And, um, nice. dude, he's dropped 10 pounds right now. Uh, he's clearly building uh, muscle because 
one of his things was like, dude, I have no veins. I can't ever see my veins. And now he's starting to see the veins in the forearm. Yeah. Like even the clothes he's wearing, this dude is literally transforming. Like he's having a rebirth. I like to call him rebirths. And it was crazy because before this, you know, I don't want to air out his business, but like, mm. you know, like girlfriend broke up with him, things like that. And, yeah. you know, typical, you know, typical story. And mm. by him, like before he joined my program, he was already like starting to work out, but he really needed to dial in the eating and the diet. So with me, with my training and my diet plan and my thing, he was really, he dude, he's this dude is seeing crazy results. And within that first month and a half, he's out here on dates, bro. He's like, he sent me this pic with this, um, this freaking chick from, I want to say she's from Thailand or whatever. Mm. And dude, the way we were like talking, I'm like, oh my God, like that's what's up. Like he said, like, bro, like this shit is crazy. Like I'm out here like, dude, I feel the best I've ever been. I'm like, dude, it's just, he wasn't getting that. The point is the, the dude was not experiencing any of that. But the fact that right. he lost the weight or he's losing the weight. He's constantly, he's building the physique. You can clearly see the veins now. Like, even the way he dresses is better because clothes look better on you when you look, when you're in the shape, man. Like, mm-hmm. um, everything, man. So the attraction went up like crazy for him. Like, dude, it, it's just like, your life changes. Like, <laughs> literally. Yeah. But, you know, people are quick to say, like, oh, it doesn't do anything. But meanwhile, they're, they're twigs or they're, like, obese or they or they have no, like, they literally have nothing. Like, they don't even go to the gym, and they're like, oh, that doesn't work. It's like, how the hell would you know? That's so dumb. That is yeah. the dumbest thing. Um, I agree. So, I mean, I guess we already touched on, I guess, how did it improve your dating life? Like, I guess you already touched on that saying, like, it's way easier to attract women and things like that. But Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Yeah. I'll say this. As far as, like, my dating life, it is easier to attract women. Um. This is kind of a, uh, this was kind of mess up dudes minds and it kind of shows you how it's all like, we all have different perspectives, but like when you're in a shape dude, and then on top of that, you take care of yourself, you know, you, you have you know, the skincare routine, grooming, you know, hairstyle, fashion, you know, you smell good, all those things. You do everything that's in your control to maximize your overall physical appearance. And you start attracting women to you, at least from my experience, like, it's crazy, man, because women who I think are like eights or nines, I, I mean, they're tens, but like tens are rare, right? They'll think that they're like a seven or six. Oh, yeah. By, oh, uh, compared <laughs> to me, because yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll think they're like a seven or a six. I'm like, what? And it's just like, I, I think what I think what's going on there is because they're not used to seeing many good looking men that are, are in shape and take care of themselves and they're so used to the treatment of women or of dudes who are unattractive out of shape skinny you know no type of sex appeal to them no type of charisma to them right none of that that approach them or hit them up i personally i think I, i've said this before i think women have it worse than men when it comes to having viable options that they truly want i know some dudes aren't going to agree but i'm i'm talking i'm not yeah. talking about pay pigs i'm not talking about simps that are going to just drop money on them i'm not talking about the I know, yeah, yeah they i can know go what out. you mean yeah they can go out and just you know the dudes will just be right there <laughs> like faster than the flash like they'll be right there but like the good looking dude that she's like physically into that she thinks is masculine that she just you know there's just something about that dude that she likes that she's just instantly attracted to there's not there's not that many dudes out there man and and they have more dudes who are unattractive telling them that they're they are attractive versus the type of men that they want telling them that they're attractive so i low-key think that women have a lower perception of their attractiveness because the feedback that the, the the positive feedback that they're getting are usually coming from men that they're not that they're not into it's the same thing when dudes you know can only attract a certain caliber of women that they don't find attractive you start to second guess yourself and you're like oh man am i am i good looking like (laughs) am i attractive like if you're starting to attract women that you don't really find attractive yourself you start to think lower of yourself because of the options that you're getting and i think women actually i think that's what's going on with them right so a lot of the women that we may think are actually more attractive than they think 
like it's just i don't know like you start attracting more attractive women and but they don't think that they're that attractive because they're not used to being with the type of caliber of dude that you are and i don't i'll just i mean you'll see that they start to pursue you more so like a lot of the treatment that men give to women a lot of like the the simp treatment that men give to women women start to give that to you and that's that's kind of what throws that will start to throw dudes for a loop who aren't who aren't used to that because we were conditioned to think like okay we got to chase the woman we got to jump through all these hoops we got to sell we got to say this we got to say that we got to do this we got to play all these damn games and a lot of times like nah bro like if she's really into you man and i know some dudes aren't going to agree with this so be prepared for the comments bro but like, <laughs> and so, and so, I mean, for real, because some dudes have a problem with this stuff. Which I'm is about crazy, to get DMs like, oh, man, yeah, you're just. It, yeah, they, they're going to have a problem with this, which is fine. It is what it is. But a lot of like women will try to like, I mean, they're going to do what they can to pursue you and get with you, try to be intimate with you, initiate the intimacy on you. Right. I've experienced that with the relationships that I had facts i mean you know what i'm saying Dude, it, girls i was just seeing like it happens when you take care of yourself when you're in shape when you look good a lot of that a lot of the attraction does the heavy lifting that's and, the main thing it's the main it's like the main thing like because when it comes down to it when your guys are getting into it like you're about to do the do it's it's all like obviously there's love if you're in a relationship but it's like right. it's off of the lust it's off of like Oh, they, like you know what i mean of course when you're with mm-hmm. someone obviously you know it's more than that but it's still like basing it off a of look i know for me dude when i'm like i'm looking at like the body i'm like oh the legs the freaking <laughs> like that's what yeah, i'm on yeah and it's just she is too dude i could tell mm-hmm. like literally she's feeling up like bro it's like it's like imagine if i was fat like dude it's not gonna work like it's just it's not it, <laughs> It's just not, bro. Like, even and even coming from a freaking you're doing it perspective. Like, if you're fat, bro, and you have a belly, you literally can't even pleasure as well because your your stomach is literally preventing you from going like farther. Like, (laughs) it's in the way, man. It's in the way. It's It's like way. And no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, and I was just going to say, like, yeah, for sure. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm all about the chemistry. I'm all about the vibe. Because at the same point, I've had to release women that were very attractive, but they just, their personalities were complete garbage. So vibe and and chemistry definitely matter, especially, of course, in relationships. They definitely matter. But that physical attraction has to be there. And, And the more you do improve yourself, the more you do improve your marketing, you will see that the women that are really into you and are attracted to you they are going to do a lot of the pursuing. It's not going to be one of those situations where like you got to be doing all this extra chasing <laughs> just to be intimate. A lot of these women are going to want to be intimate with you, bro. They're going to initiate dude, on you. It's crazy, man. I like I said it like, dude, I'm in a relationship, even in the relationship, bro. Like, dude, like it's so crazy because a lot of these stuff that applies outside of the relationship applies in actual the actual relationship. Um, mm-hmm. of course not everything, you know, every, some things are different, obviously, but like, I don't know. I'm just speaking from experience. Like I've been with my girl for seven years. Like we've been with each other, the same exact people for seven years, it's a long time. It's a long time. Obviously from that long time, you like, you guys, um, you learn different things. You start finding out different things about yourself and all this stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like as far as me, like I've been improving this whole time, like really, really, really like getting after my dreams, my goals, even as far as business wise, not, I'm not just talking about like the looks wise and stuff. Obviously, that's improved as well. But as far as even the mindset wise, like how you think, how you actually act, like how you carry yourself, not just with her, but with actual other people, like in front of her, like how people treat you in front of her. Dude, it just raises your status and value. Like and and like when this is happening, like I'm pretty sure you're not subconsciously thinking this like, oh, my my status is getting raised right now. But <laughs> like, you're not thinking that like, like, you know, what I mean? yeah. like, I'm yeah. not like, oh, man, like, oh, I need to act like, this. dude, I just act like how I act. I treat everyone with respect. I carry myself because now that I've improved myself, I because a lot of the time I used to think that people were better than me. And mm. but the, the whole goal, like now, dude, I know that no, like 
no one is better than me. I don't think of myself better than other people um, in a sense of just being a human. But like, but that was my, the, the biggest thing that I overcame after like really improving my mindset and like the physique and everything is like, I never have that kind of like, like that feeling, even when anyone walks in the room, like, oh, this guy is like, oh, he's better than me. Like you get insecure. Like, dude, I don't like that doesn't, isn't even a thing to me anymore. Like it's like pure, just like this guy's just like me like mutual respect obviously you know if he tarnishes that respect then that's a different thing but i don't right. see myself as like a lower um person uh, like based off who comes in the room dude and, and that that for me is like the biggest thing like i see myself as like a g like like dude yeah. like i just do you know and i'm not acting like i'm big-headed or full of myself anyone who knows me personally knows i'm a complete opposite of that especially in my workplace but it's just like mm. i don't know man it, it, it's it's it just changes everything in the relationship outside of it like i said the value that you just seem like you're just their value is raised because when people treat you a certain way and clearly everyone sees that your girl like for example if i walk in a room and like or I, anywhere like i'm going like the gym is a perfect example sometimes i'll work out with her dude when i go to the gym everyone daps me up from the bodybuilders like the people that are crazy from the regular the people that are smaller getting dude everyone dude everyone mm. like they they give me the nod they dab me up and she can see that like she clearly sees that you know what i mean and what does that perceive in her mind that okay like like i'm i'm lit like, yeah. yeah bro like it I want to make a couple of comments. Number one, I think that's the thing that men in relationships need to do is, first of all, I think a lot of men need to already be on their grind and already be in, sh like, when I said, I was going to say be in shape when you get into a relationship, I mean, it's definitely going to help. But when it, when you, let's say like you you are already in shape, if you're already in shape, you know, before you met your girl and you guys get into a relationship, you need to stay consistent with your routine and you should not stop. Even, there's going to be times, there's going to be certain times where she's like, hey, can we just watch Netflix or can we go get breakfast? Can we do this down the third? And when you keep acquiescing to those, to those suggestions at the inopportune time, the inappropriate times, and you skip the gym, you, you, you skip what you need to be doing, you skip, you stop doing the things that attracted her to you in the first place, slowly but surely, the respect will start to lower. And I will tell you this, they they want you to keep the mission the main priority because I've been with women that, you know, got a little bit, up, not upset, but a little bit irritated or like bummed if I was like, no, I can't watch Netflix right now. Oh, I can't go get breakfast right now. I need to go hit the gym. I need to go knock this out. I need to go work on this business. I need to do this out of the third. And then when I prioritize time to spend with that woman, at the right times and let's say you know it's time to be intimate she starts seeing that shirt come off that's when the compliments <laughs> start to come in. oh your, your abs look good your chest looks good look at your arms look at your veins look at all. they start giving you all these compliments and it's like some women may try like and not i don't believe this is on purpose but like women are going to want to spend time with you which is dope like if your woman's really into you she's going to want to spend time with you which is cool nice. that's how it should be yeah. but if you if you if you sacrifice taking care of yourself first and foremost and your mission for spending time with her, she's going to peep that and she's going to peep that and she may get upset when you tell her no, but she's going, she's going to like what she sees when you take that shirt off. It's <laughs> yeah, bro, it's... Dude. yeah she, she's going to like that. And I would say this, that's, that's what screws up a lot of people. I, I know dudes who were on their mission, they were they were on their grind, they were already working out, they were already in the in the process of working out. See, that is something that's going to be attractive to women that are into you, right? You don't have to be the best looking dude, you don't have to be in crazy shape. But I've noticed like, even men who are in the gym who are on their grind and have that ambition, they showcase that ambition, and they may not be in their best shape yet. But when they get into that relationship with a woman, she likes the fact that he's on his grind, on his, you know, on uh, on his purpose. I try not to say that too much because that's overused, but, you know, he's he's on his mission, right? But then when those dudes fall off or they start to switch their whole program up to try to follow her program, it, bro, it, it, go, it, it goes It goes south, left man. quick. It goes yes. left quick. And that's why your girl respects you because she sees that you're dedicated. She sees that you make the mission the main mission. 
but she also sees how you were able to influence her for the better by putting her onto her own fitness routine, how you were able to impact her for the better. And that's what that's what a man does. That's how a leader is supposed to be, because your woman is an extension of you. Your woman is an extension and reflection of you. Right. Yes. And that's why you're going to see that they're going to follow your lead when they see that you're putting in the work, when you're cleaning up your diet, you're getting rid of the sodas. Right. You're getting rid of the junk food. You know what I'm saying? And then you can then put her onto your program. You can kick her knowledge and, and provide her value that she didn't get from any other dude. She's going to remember that that's going to stick with her and she's going to be even more attached to you because she's tying the value that she's receiving from your knowledge and your help, obviously, back to you. And then the fact that you're leading her and you're staying consistent on your own, she sees like, okay, my man's on the mission. My man's not going to compromise his mission for me. And, and they may not admit that, but they want you to keep the main mission, the main mission, the, the main goal, keep your eye on the prize. And a lot of dudes, the, the trap that they fall into, they just get comfy. They, yeah, they, right. they, they get complacent and fall want. off completely. Like, and that happens to like, I feel like I won't even, I don't want to say majority, but I, I low key do feel like it is a majority. It is majority. <laughs> like, it is I don't majority. get it. Like, they'll be so good. Like, I know personally, dude, people that were like, dude, they're in, they're like, they're going hard. They're doing this and that. They're out here getting it, man. Like, and then they get in a relationship and, and, you know, they keep it going for like one or two months, three. But then it's just like slowly decline. And then it's just like, oh, I don't have time for the gym anymore. Oh, I don't have time for this anymore. Oh, well, no, I don't. I kind of want to stay in. Like, it's like you didn't attract her when like being like that, like mm -hmm. the opposite attract her. So why would you revert to this? Like. Mm -hmm. that's gonna lower the attraction like you said perfectly like and even me dude like i said i gotta keep saying this i've been with her in a relationship for seven years so i know when things were going left or like things were kind of like you know more on the rocky side or whatever mm -hmm. we we're getting more arguments and things like that is when i would fall off is like because i never really fell off working out but more of like my ambition and like me chasing mm -hmm. my grind dude like and at the time, I didn't really know, like, know that that was why. And I don't even think she know, knew that was why either. Like, that's the thing. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of these times, like, you guys got to not, uh, like, think that when this is happening, you're thinking about this. Like, oh, man, like, she's thinking about that, too. I don't think right. that chicks are thinking that. Like, no, it's just like not. it just happens. And then when you reflect and see, like, oh that was why like you gotta go through it and then understand and like me dude i know that was why because when i started like i wasn't really spending a lot of time working on what i want to do because i would always say oh man i want to start youtube i want to do this i want to start my pro uh you know my coaching program i want to but my actions don't reflect that to where now i'm spending more time even with her which she likes at the time but but that's taken away from what i'm doing or i'll fall off and um I'm more so like just fooling around, like watching movies or playing games or whatever I'm doing, not really doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which what I said was, oh, make a YouTube, like, you know, YouTube stuff. This is like, mm -hmm. now this is like years ago now, because obviously I'm not like that anymore. But during those times, I never, I never figured out like, why, like, are we getting arguments? Like, why mm -hmm. is this happening? Like, what, why is like, there's tension here. And, but now that, I'm in the like future now and I, and I reflect and I'm not the same, clearly not the same dude. I'm on my, my purpose, whatever you want to call it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm clearly devoting like all my energy to this dude. It's just like, dude, she'll literally text me and be like, I love the way like you just go after it. Like, bro, it's like, she'll tell you that she doesn't, you know, like, oh, you know, we should hang out. And if you say no, like, no, I got to do this. She might get mad or not even like she doesn't even get mad. Like when I tell her, like, no, I got to do this. She doesn't even get mad anymore. She's like, no, go do that. I know you got to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want. And then and then. Mm -hmm. But the problem is where I feel like people mess up is is like they'll do like, say, um, you know, like your chick wants to hang out. But, you, you know, you got to hit the gym or something. Right. And you tell them, like, oh, after this workout, we'll do whatever. But then the problem, I feel like, they'll do the gym thing, the workout. But then when they have to dedicate the time with the girl or with the partner, they are not fully there. And they're sidetracked. And they're trying to do this and trying to do that. And it's like, that kind of messes it up because you were supposed to already do everything 
to mm. have this block of time to be in the present moment with her. And I felt like that happened to me sometimes. Like I would be like trying to do this YouTube and like all this crap. Uh, I would say like months ago, this happened to where like she would be coming over and stuff. And I'd be like, no, nah, wait, I got to Like, I got to I gotta do this. I got to do this. <laughs> and it's mm. like, it's good, but it, it, but it's not because it's not in the sense where like you promise that this time for this specific like couple hours or whatever is supposed to be dedicated to me. So it's kind of like, you know, so that I feel like you, you gotta like be cognizant of that, like be in the present moment when you're actually need like spending time with her, you actually spend time with her and not do something else. That's completely, you know, you can chime in. I, no, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. And that was something that I, you know, those are things that I did in, in past relationships as well. And what I've learned and understood is that, and, and I understood this kind of with different women when I, you know, learn like, okay, I, that's not something I should be doing. I need to tie that up is that they will start to respect you more. Like, see, women are going to be more cool and relaxed and supportive and not push back so much when you got to tell her, Hey, no, we can't, I can't do the Netflix right now. I can't, we can't go to breakfast right now. I need to go knock all these things out. They will start to respect you more and be more supportive when you do knock those things out and you take care of those things. But then when you say that you're going to do something, you say that like, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're not going to do Netflix and breakfast, but once I'm done with all these things, we're going to go to dinner. We're going to do this, you know, and then we're going to do Facts. this. And then, and then when you follow through with what you say and you do that consistently and she sees like you are a man of your word, you can be trusted. You can be respected because you fulfilled on what you said you were going to do. And so then the next time you tell her, no, like I got to go to the gym, I got to do the task. You got to do all these things. She's going to be like, okay, babe. Like, okay. Yeah. That's Dude, cool. Just, literally just, yeah. Just call me when you're done. And then we'll go from there. Like, it, it, you're gonna see more sweet femininity energy coming mm. from her you know what i'm saying because you're in your masculine and you're you're as a man when we say we're gonna do something we got to do it and when you follow through on your words with your actions they respect you because there's you know there's um there's a uh there's a woman that i'm seeing and you know, she, she knows I'm not a big texter. Cause I like to just have interactions in person. Facts. Right. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm yeah. not big on the whole texting back and forth and stuff. And I remember she brought this up to me on our like second date. She was like, you're not big on texting, are you? And I was just like, no, I'm not. I just prefer in-person interactions. And she was like, okay, that's what I thought. And I was like, why did you think I was going to be like, uh, like, do you think I was not what did I say? I think I, I asked her, like, do you think I was like trying to be a jerk or something like that? Like by not texting you? Cause that was kind of like the vibe I was getting. She was like, no. And then she was like, well, I'm not gonna lie a little bit. I thought you, you know, I thought you were like, maybe you just didn't want to talk to me because you weren't, you know, texting me a whole bunch. But I know that whenever you did say that you were gonna text me, you did. And you were great with your communication. And then I was like, yes. And I was like, and you see how I'm, yeah. I'm present with you right now. I was like, you see how when I told you I was going to text you, I did, right? She was like, yeah, you're right. And I was like, exactly. Like, I'm, a, I'm I like in person interaction, right? And I'm present in the moment with you. And this, and this interaction is more, you know, it's more significant than, than texting back and forth, right? And she was like, yeah, I agree. I was like, yeah, there you go. And she respected that. She's, she's cool with me not texting her, even not texting her for a few days. But when I tell her I'm going to reach out or when I tell her, hey, expect for me to reach out to you on this day around this time and I do it, she's like, okay, cool. I can trust him. And she's on game. Like, she wants to be like, oh, yeah. She, like, you know what I mean? It's not like mm -hmm. you're over, mm -hmm. like. Right. Like, exactly. Dude. And then she's the one saying, I would love to see you soon. When can we get together? Telling me her schedule. You know what I mean? Looking forward to seeing you. Like, that. that's the type of treatment that I... I understand not every man is going to be able to get and to kind of go back to your question about like the unfair stuff. I mean, yeah, like certain men are going to have advantages. And I'm going to say this, like, I, I think a lot of men need to stop, stop feeling sorry for like certain <laughs> things that were, no, for like, stop feeling sorry for certain things that were given to you that other men don't yeah. have. That's nature that sorry. Like if you have a good looking face, okay, cool. Like, stop stop hating stop getting upset with people that have certain things that yeah you may want that wasn't necessarily in their control either as far as that being given to them or them being given a base of genetics that they maximize and then they try like, to make stop. you feel bad for that yeah oh, because here's the because thing because here's the thing here's the thing 
Okay, if I if I try to lower myself down for you because you you feel a certain sorry, I got like a little dust flying no, right now. But if if I lowered myself or you lowered yourself for another dude who's feeling sorry about himself because you have something that he doesn't want, how does that really serve any of us? That's lowering <laughs> me. That's lower like for real, that's lowering me yeah. for no damn reason because you because you want something that I have or you haven't chosen to maximize a certain other area of your life that you can control. But then on top of that, it's just making you more of a victim and just making you soak more in, in whatever you have going on and whatever insecurities or inadequ inadequacies that you believe you have. And you're not doing a damn thing about it. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Right. It doesn't make sense to me. And, and one other thing, because I, I made a, a, a video talking about how to be him. Right. How to be that. Dude. Yeah, I was watching. And, that. And, yeah. Thank you, man. And one thing that I encourage and I'm going to really start spreading this message more is. I think men need to be a little bit more braggadocious. I think men that actually are putting in the work out here need to be a little bit more arrogant. That doesn't mean you go around being disrespectful to people. That doesn't mean you talk shit to people. That doesn't mean to your point that you made earlier, like treating people like less than, because I'm the same way. Like I treat everyone with respect. I'm I, like, honestly, I'm easy to get along with, man. If you're nice and yeah, cool to me, yeah. I'm be nice and cool to you. I don't care how you look. I don't care <laughs> what your race is. Yeah. I don't care about any of that stuff, man. Like if you're cool and nice to me, I'm going to be cool, nice to you. I'm going to give you the same amount of respect until, as you said, if you disrespect that, then that's a little different story. But at the same point, it's like we worked our ass off to to have these physiques. We worked our ass off to improve our facial attractiveness. We worked our ass Facts. off to improve our <laughs> mindset, to, you know, yeah, learn how to fight and stuff like, hell, yeah, I'm going to think I'm the shit because I'm putting in the work to to say that I am. I have results and evidence to back it up. And just because you don't doesn't mean that I need to be feeling sorry for you because I still had to put in the work to maximize what I have. And I, I still am as you are. So why should I feel sorry? Why should I lower myself down for you? You need to be rising up to me as I need to rise up to other people. That's, and when I say rise up to other people, I just mean, if I see someone that's doing better than me in, in certain uh, certain area that I already have the drive and ambition and inspiration to get to, I shouldn't be upset and be like, oh, he's this down the third and, and try to lower that person down to my level i need to increase my level i need to yeah. go up i need to improve not go down because that doesn't do anyone any favors that's i'm not gonna feel sorry for you bro i i'm not gonna feel sorry that's for facts. you because i had to put in the work you had to put in the work because yeah. here at the same point if if the roles were reversed like <laughs> yeah. no you know for real if the roles were reversed because see dudes when you got it like that dudes when you got it like that and dudes don't have it like that yet because i'm an optimist but i also believe a lot of men can improve and don't give themselves enough credit Facts. And, and they don't realize how possible it is to improve themselves they want you to lower yourself down but if the if the roles were reversed they wouldn't do that shit no hell no but they want to do that <laughs> shit so why the hell should i that's the point. you know Dude. what i'm saying like I, I think more men even like and you don't have to look good you don't have to be in shape already but even if you're in and like what you said earlier i love seeing men who are putting in the work even overweight men like i love seeing men putting in the work at the gym because we both were we were both at zero before and the point i was really trying to make with that is a lot of dudes talk about how you know building this physique building the sex doesn't work but it's like how how do you know it doesn't work? Because if I go out, I'm just saying from a number perspective, I don't see that many men in, in actual good shape. Facts. The men at the gym are on their way to building that, but I'm still not seeing that. So I know if I'm actually going outside, which I do, <laughs> and as you do, and we're actually going out in public and we're not just on YouTube all day watching these crazy videos talking about how body doesn't matter and it's just about this and that <laughs> the third, and we go out and we see all these dudes aren't in shape. I sure as hell know the people in the comment section are not in shape. <laughs> you know, for, for real, bro. That's crazy to me. And I'll just say this. I'll end it with this, like, and hand it back to you. If you say that this doesn't work, you say that this doesn't work, that doesn't work, you're right. Get out the way. Let, <laughs> Damn, you're, you're right. Just like, you're right. You're... No, you're right. Hey, yo, you're right. Get out the way and let the lions eat then. Get out the way and let the lions Dude, eat. I'm if dragging. you think this doesn't work, if you're going to sulk in your misery, cool. Get out the way and stop poisoning the well either. Because I have an issue with comments like that because dudes who have their own little experience, they want to try to they want to try to cast a wide net and act like their own little experience is what's going to happen to all these other dudes or that their their version of a truth or what they think is truth is the ultimate truth for other people. 
and they, they they try to poison other dudes minds who who have nothing to do with that person's own troubles and trauma and insecurities and stuff like bro you got to work on that stuff instead of trying to lower people down to your level and trying to spread all that negativity and toxicity especially when you, like that's your own that's your own issue that's that's something that you got to deal with yourself don't try to spread these lies or these negative ways of thinking to other men who are trying to better themselves i know i went on a tangent. no no dude you're spitting bro no bro dude <laughs> like, that was fucking great i agree with everything but then what would you say okay so devil's advocate what about the mm. people that would say like but you were trying to warp people's perspective on like you know how you said like they're they're um saying their negative experiences on others what about us like they might think that we're putting our experiences on other people like trying to warp them and make them feel like this is everything even though i don't think we're doing that but they see it like that you know what i mean like they think that we're trying to do that yeah well because we're in the minority and we're in the minority in a good way because we've actually put in the work to develop ourselves and we see how at least from our conversations and what I've experienced personally, it feels really freaking good on this side. And I would love for men to experience it as well, because it seems like most men aren't. Most men aren't. We've done no, we've done things that are hard. Like we're, like we're both in the gym. We're both doing martial arts. We both improved ourselves. Like we've improved our minds. Like we've done a lot of self-improvement. We've done a lot of development. It may not look like it because they see the, the finished, not even the finished product, but they see you know, the development of, of what we present to them, but we, but, and also too, because the experiences that we have are great and they are very limited. Not many people are experiencing these, these type of treatments and experiences, but a lot of men haven't developed themselves into the man that is actually worthy of these experiences. Facts. Again, degrees of results and treatment will vary. But a lot of these dudes think you also got to be a Chad and Tyrone to experience all these things. And <laughs> I know dudes who are personally not Chad's and Tyrone's facially and all that stuff, but they're, they've done everything that they can to improve themselves. And they're great. Like they're, they're killing it. They're attracting women to them. They're going on dates, multiple dates a week. They're being intimate with women. Right. But to go back to what you're saying, you know, we're just trying to we're just trying to help people to the best of their ability and showcase to them based on the work that we put in the data and the evidence that we've collected by putting in the work and developing ourselves that this is possible. We are in the minority. So therefore, most people aren't going to agree or believe us because we are in the minority. But for the men who are ambitious like us, for the men who are willing to put in the work, who will follow suit and do everything that they can to maximize themselves, they're going to see they're going to see the type of treatment that you and I get. And they already are. And, 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 no, yeah, and they see it. That's this. the thing. They they literally see it. Like they do. And one last thing I was gonna say is, like, do you really want to be on this earth as a man? And just in general, like, let's forget female attraction and all that. Do you really want to be on this earth as a man and not maximize every minute that you have, not <laughs> maximize ev any yeah. or every ounce of potential that you have, and then be on your deathbed and regret that you didn't do everything that you could to maximize yourself? I'm not just talking about looks and physique. I'm talking yeah, about. Like mindset your you know finances relationships like experiences all that just overall holistic potential you want to be on your deathbed when you have you can't do anything about it and regret that that because i i have that mindset and that that mindset scares the hell out of me but it scares me to put in more work and continue to level up facts you can either let it scare you to not do anything and be like oh, i'm gonna die anyway or have like this doomer perspective like I'm just gonna shit on this community real quick. Like the black pillar. Do you have you heard of like, that, the black that's, pillar? That's, yeah, dude. yeah, that's who I'm referring oh to, bro. God, I get dude. I get crazy ass comments from those <laughs> dudes too. Dude, I did yeah. I, it's like, dude, like they're like, oh well, it's because I don't have the um dude, they're out here measuring like whiffs of like I like I I'm like okay, this <laughs> is like, whiffs, yep. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's it's like crazy. Yeah. Like I don't know, man. But that's just like a whole nother thing. But actually what you said about um they're not are they're not worthy in a position of actually receiving that is the same thing like it not even like attraction because i know we were talking about a lot about attraction and stuff like that but mm -hmm. that's just like a byproduct dude <laughs> like it's yeah, a byproduct bro. like they're so caught up with like um obviously like you want to have intimacy you want to have girls and things like that but you but you yourself should want to like you said you should you yourself should want to feel good like a, 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 like aside with the women aside all that stuff aside you yourself would want to feel happy with who you are what you do 
how you look, how you feel, like in general, like you want to feel that in general. And I'm telling you right now, I feel great. <laughs> like I, yeah, dude, I feel great. But I know before I didn't like, that's the difference. Like I'm ta- I'm saying all this crap is because I know what it is, dude. Like <laughs> I know how it was just like how you were. And, um, yeah. but I was going to say was, uh, the being worthy or deserving is true because even me, like I was in, not in terms of like looks max or anything like that or physique wise, whatever, but in terms of like achieving things, like I would, I'd always say this, like, Oh, I want to be rich or I want to be rich or I should be rich. Like why? Like have that kind of perspective of like, why am I not rich? But then you look at my actions, I'm playing video games for 12 hours a day. I'm literally doing nothing with my time, wasting all of it, spending like none of my actions uh, contribute to that. I shouldn't even be thinking that like, dude, my actions are nothing to what a rich person would do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what would a rich person do? They're probably not spending 16 hours a day scrolling or playing video games. They're not doing that, like, or else they wouldn't be rich unless they were trust funds or whatever. But you know what I mean? And it's just like, Mm -hmm. you got to have the habits in place to actually like, you know, do that. It's just having a goal. Like, a goal is nothing if you have no action plan, no steps or, or habits, dude. Because I used to always think like, oh, I want to start my coaching. But this is another perfect example. I want to start a program. I want to start like a business. I want to have my own thing. But I didn't do anything to get it. I had no routine in the morning. I was still like wasting time procrastinating. Do- like nothing that I did aligned with that goal. So it made no sense for me to have it. But now it's completely different. Dude, I have a morning routine that I stick to religiously every single day, no matter what, because I know that's going to build the discipline and the habit to keep me going. I know I, I got to dedicate at least four hours or however many hours I have today to strictly work on what I'm doing, strictly film content, strictly do this, strictly do that. Everything is like calculated and measured with the steps I know that's going to take me there. And I feel like a lot of people mess up because they focus so much on the goal of like, I just want to be rich. But they don't focus on the system to actually get them to the goal. Like you got to focus on the, the the inputs. Like, what are you doing to get to it? Instead of focusing on just, oh, I want to be rich. I want to be rich. That's cool. But you're not doing anything to get it. But if you were to focus on what actually will get you to there, like, you know, you got to do this for two hours. You know, you got to work on that for three hours. You know, you got to sleep better. You know, you got to, you know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what's mm-hmm. actually going to get you to the goal. But they're so focused on like, it's like the same thing with getting women. Oh, I want the I want the hot girl. I want I want this girl. But they do nothing to get it. Like they're out of shape. They have no physique. They no discipline, no diet. Like their look is crazy. They don't know how to dress. They don't know how to, like they have nothing to get them that thing that they want because they're not focusing mm-hmm. on the system to get it. But I don't know. I just wanted to put that in there. But I know we've been talking long. I I don't know if you were busy or you got to go cuz I just realized that we've been going on for a while now. No, you're good, man. You're good. But um, but yeah, I don't know if you wanted to say anything to that or whatever. But I could just move on to the last question because, I, like I said, I don't want to keep taking. No, up you're good. I didn't realize. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. The one of the dopest things about building your body up, let's say for example, is that it's one of the, it's one of the things that you can do without money. You know what I mean? Facts. It's one of the things that you can do without money, or it's one of the things that you can do with little money. But the thing that I love that I did, and I'm sure you you would agree to this, is that just the simple fact that we were able to take ourselves from being these skinny twigs that lacked confidence, were insecure, all these things, and we were able to transform ourselves into these strong, confident men that we nice. both are today. And 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 the fact that our older selves, the skinny, insecure versions of ourselves, were strong enough to put in the work on our behalf to get us to this point. And the fact that we were able to go from one, one end of the spectrum to the completely other side of it, (laughs) that forget female attraction, attention. No one can take that away from you. Facts, dude. Facts. No no one, no one can take that away from you. And, ah, man, there's so many ways I can describe this, but that's why I'm like, however dudes want to think about that 
like especially for like the hardcore black pillars i really don't care because <laughs> yeah. again lion, lions are gonna lions are gonna eat i'm not gonna feel bad i'm not gonna feel bad for you i'm not gonna lower myself for you bro sorry because i had to work my ass off to get to where i'm at same thing with you like i'm not gonna feel bad for you we all have for the most hey, part man. equal opportunities for real like we all have equal opportunities man i'm not gonna feel bad because i i went through a lot of stuff when i was younger I went through a lot of insecurity, Dude. right? A lot of like negative thoughts and, and all these things about my, you know, appearance and, and all these things, man. But I was able to get, it's at, me and my client, we have like a, a inside joke where we refer to Bane's pit from the Dark Knight, from the Dark Knight Rises. A lot of men oh, are stuck in Bane's pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of men are, are, a lot of men are stuck in Bane's pit with their back broken from Bane and, 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 and they're, and they, they giving up. They're not trying to get themselves out the pit. But you and I got ourselves out the pit and we didn't need the rope to jump and to jump from the other side to the other brick and climb up. We got ourselves out the pit. And the fact that we got ourselves out the pit, that's the thing. That's one. That's the thing that means the most to me about the body that I build. And then the lessons that I've been able to accumulate from doing so that those are the things that are more meaningful and more significant that no person on this planet can ever take away from me or you. And that fulfillment and that confidence that you get from that is what I would love for all men to experience. Cause there's nothing like it. Not even the female attraction and the validation and all Perhaps, that. That stuff is dude. cool. It's nice. I won't cap. That stuff is really, really nice. But you, you transforming yourself and being able to have the power to to control your own situation your body and what's in your control and take you from one end of the spectrum to the other and get you out of the pit and you did that and no one else did that no no money could buy it no other person could do it for you You had to do that there's nothing greater than that that's like the that's why that you literally just summed it up perfectly really but that's why it's like well there's zero cons to working out like getting in shape there's, there's literally zero. zero drawbacks like there's like it's the highest thing a uh, highest uh, re- uh what is it called i um lowest risk highest reward yeah type of thing where mm-hmm. like dude everything is better from that and and yeah like no one can take that away from you because you didn't buy it. you can't buy it like that's something you cannot mm-hmm. buy at all like dude it just shows that you either did it or you didn't like you can't buy it you can't like figure out a way to you to shortcut through it like no dude and that's and that's like one of the best things it's like when people you know because they'll obviously tell you all the time like man how did you get that how did you it's just it took a long time i'll tell you that much it definitely took a long time but it's but the reward is like it's endless it's It's, it dude it translates to everything Mm -hmm. but um, I, I was gonna ask you what would you say to the haters, but you pretty much already summed it up. It's like, <laughs> like I don't feel. Sorry. I mean, I mean, I, I can, I can. I mean, if there's any, well, I'll say this because in the in the in the in the black pill community, I know they think it's all about face and height. <laughs> dude, oh my god, bro, I'm which, short. Which, yeah, how tall are you, dude? I'm five eight on a good day. Like, I'm really like seven, uh, five seven and a half. Like, dude, I'm not. And you're crushing it. Dude, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, it it does not. I have clients that I work with who are five seven, five eight, crushing it. I'm seeing dudes in public who are <laughs> shorts. I've seen dudes who are who are literally five seven, five six, but they're jacked as hell. They dress well, and they can get women. Dude, you know what I'm saying? They can get I women. See in the bank, bro. Like they'll come in, yeah. like these business guys that are like jacked. Like there's this guy right at the top of my head. He owns his own like um landscaping company mm-hmm. and dude this guy is like you know he 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 looks good he has his body on point dude you can mm-hmm. just tell this dude is like and he's short he's like five foot five but mm-hmm. dude the way he carries himself i already know what it is like you can just see like bro he just is that dude. there bro like it's not people aren't like oh well he's short he doesn't it doesn't affect him because he knows what it is like I guarantee you this dude is like out here just like you know what I mean? And you can yeah. tell like you said, like you see it in public. I feel like a lot of the time it's because these people don't go outside. Like they, they, they don't, don't be, like they don't experience like they don't see anything and they're just so focused on like receiving like information from like online, which I guess like you can say like we're giving out information from online, but it's right. like but it's like 
we actually see it from our own two eyes. Like we're out there actually seeing it and experiencing. It. Like I see constantly the people that are in shape that are short with mm-hmm. the women, like with in relationships. In like, dude, you know what I mean? Well, I was gonna. I agree, hundred percent. And I was gonna say, here's a difference by and large with you and I versus these dudes that they watch. Those dudes, those. Du- I want I want to be cool, but those dudes, <laughs> no, go. well, I'm just gonna say those dudes never had experiences with women, <laughs> bro. I will say you, I will say this, I will say this. I'm not gonna go further in this, but this <laughs> just no, for real, like for real, because this is this is I I gotta say this because it's gonna help the audience. There are people who talk about looks maxing and the black pill and stuff that have big channels. And I'll just say this, they're not even in shape themselves. Yeah. The, and yeah. I've had, I, I've, I, well, and the reason why I say that is because they've reached out to me personally about some things. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say who or whatever, but they're creating looks maxing and, and, you know, all this stuff and content and all this content, but they're not in shape. They, they haven't done the stuff that they're talking about. They don't have the experience like that with women. And that's where a lot of these dudes who have who are stuck in the pit and, and quite frankly kind of want to be stuck in the pit, really. That's where they're really they're getting their source of information from those type of sources. Whereas you and I have put in the work and we've actually been with women. We have experiences with women. And I'll tell you guys something too. If some dudes are gonna be like, Oh, Jordan, you don't look like this, you don't look like that. You're gonna have some dudes, I'm just gonna say from the black book community who are gonna say that you look like this and that. But from my experience. From my experience, not from videos, from my experience, <laughs> yeah. women, women, women are are mainly attracted to my face. However, every single one of them that I've talked to, interacted with, been in, in relationships with, dated, been intimate with, all love my body. Not a single one didn't. Not a single one didn't. <laughs> never, never not complimented my body. They didn't want you to never. be fat. <laughs> no, they, right, right, right. <laughs> like, Right. They, they all, they all love my body. They love, they love the fact that I was in shape. And, and here's the thing. Do you really want to be a dude that can just get pumped physically by another man? Straight up, like forget female attraction and attention. Do you want to have a physique that do you, I mean, I, I love Spider-Man. I'm a big comic book nerd. Do you want to be Peter Parker without the Spider-Man powers before he got bit by a radioactive spider and get, just get punked by other men? No, bro. because you can because you have a body that can get easily shoved over or isn't athletic and strong do you want to have that type of physique as well forget the female attraction like do you just as a man want to have that type of body that's not dope to me i never wanted that no that's not fly to me no dude you... that's not masculine either in my opinion that's one of the main things you gotta actually look masculine <laughs> like you gotta yeah. look like a good man bro i don't know man it's just like you can go on forever but as far as like yeah. my experiences with women like i said i've been in a relationship for a very long time but even then like it's not just like dating women and all this stuff dude like at my job bro like it's literally like crazy like crazy crazy like constantly even today like it's so funny because i say this in every video but i literally have to record like i need to like figure out a way where i can like, record and like just, like literally put it out there so people can't dispute me or be like oh man you're just talking i'm not fucking talking bro like <laughs> i'm not just talking like literally right. today the um i got th- the girl actually well i'm gonna give this example Cause this is like a really good one. I said it when we recorded the last one, but, but yeah, like she literally whispered in my ear, you should become a male stripper. Like, they're not going to say that to you. Like, no one's going to say that to you or jump out the window and say that. Like, that's something very like, like obviously like, you know, trying to do get you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's not just that. Like, like I said, um, there was this other, there was this other woman that was like, why aren't you in New York modeling? Like, why are you here? Like, you need to be out there modeling. Look how you look. She literally was just like, look at your body. Look at your face. Look how you even carry yourself. Why are you here? And every time she comes, she actually came today. She was like, "Um, you're still here. And so every time she says that, she says the same. Every time she comes, she says the same thing. Same one other. This this woman literally, I was doing a, ran, a regular transaction. If you guys don't know, I work at a bank. 
So it's like I'm mm-hmm. dealing with with uh, accounts and stuff like that. You know, yeah. I'm literally a, a banker. But anyways, mm. um, I was on the line. I'm dealing with transactions. This was like I would say like a, a month and a half ago, or whatever. Um, and I do this transaction. I'm talking with this woman. I'm like, yeah, you know, regular chopping it up, and then she writes on a note and she just leaves her number there like dude and and then <laughs> and even this is another funny thing i went and visited my old job like when i this was like i used to work at this job like what year is it uh back in 2021 2020 it was like a freaking grocery store like i used to flip sandwiches and at this time like i already had i didn't look this big but but i was clearly big to where i looked big in shirts i looked like you know you can see that i work out like clearly but now obviously it's a lot more but at the time even at the time it was like clear anyways i was i visited that old job because i wanted i was really cool with the um the produce manager and the actually the manager that i worked for when i was making the sandwiches and stuff i visited that like uh i would say like a couple months ago five months ago or something like that literally dude i talked to the produce manager chopping it up in the back room i didn't even go out to the floor yet i just came to the back room because they'll let me in and then i went out to go across to actually go to where i was flipping the sandwiches i have to walk across the store and the thing about it is they always it's like a small little private owned like grocery store and they have like they have like four cashier things right there but you have to walk across it to get to the actual sandwich part which is on their side they call it the juice bar anyways i walk across mm. not just i go there and i see the old manager and i talk with her she's like wow you look very different like that was the first thing she <laughs> said to me she's just like you're carlos i'm like yeah and she's just like you look very different and anyways we start talking normally and i'll tell you what i'm talking to her i was like oh yeah i want this juice because you make juices and sandwiches i ordered a sandwich and a juice and one of the cashiers I didn't know it was a cashier because I wasn't really looking at it until she told me. She taps me on the shoulder and she goes like, um, my friend wanted to give you this. And it's like a note. I'm like, what the hell? So she leaves and I open a note and it's just like from a fellow curl. I'm trying to remember exactly what it said. From a fellow curly haired um, person, something like that. You look really good, like really handsome, really good. And it had like a little like smile like thing and things like that. And I was like, I showed my manager a note. She's like, dang, they're already trying to get with you. I'm like, and I'm like, oh, man, I got to get out of here. And then when I was walking (laughs) out to the, um, like, leaving the store, I have to go past the the cashier. So now I'm looking. I'm like, who said that? Because it wasn't the girl that gave me the note. It was someone else. So now I'm looking. And I see, like, from the corner, because I didn't want to make it so obvious that I'm out here looking. But I just wanted to see, like, what... (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I'm not yeah. going to do that, but I'm seeing in the corner of my eye, and I, could clear, I, I figured out who it was because she was, like, literally, like, dude, blushed up, like, everything, bro. You can clearly see it. And it's just things like that that you're not going to experience, bro. You're just not. If you're not on point and if you don't have any, like, sex appeal, you're not going to you're not gonna experience those things, dude. And it's, and it's crazy. It is crazy. But I'm going to end it here because we've been going for it. An hour and a half, and I don't want to keep you going, or I keep you, uh, oh yeah, you know, hold you up or whatever. But, dude, this was this was awesome, man. Um, if anyone's don't know, he has a he has his own program that he does. Uh, if you want, you can, you know, go over that real quick. Shout yourself out, man. Just yeah, I don't know what's no, up. I appreciate, it, man. It's called the Inbound Attraction Blueprint. Um, I'm all about helping men, you know, transform their looks, you know, maximize what they have, getting them in shape, improve their facial aesthetics, um, dialing their fashion, their style, just make them the best, you know, the best version of themselves, not just physically, but mentally as well, but also turn them into men that can attract women to them. Because when you can attract women to you, you're also going to see that you're going to be able to attract opportunities to you, networking opportunities, money-making opportunities, hence why it's called the inbound attraction blueprint, you know, women coming to you opportunities will start coming to you money making opportunities will start coming to you so that's really what i you know teach inside that program helping men um maximize their looks you know attract women to them their ideal woman to them improve their confidence and you know turn themselves into a a walking magnet basically yeah you guys need you guys need to get in with him bro like it's like man he'll literally change you he'll rebirth you what i like to call him he'll have a rebirth so nah but that's that's pretty much the video guys um 
you know thanks for coming on man i really appreciate it but i'm gonna end the video here see you guys in the next one take it easy guys Peace and thank out. you for having me bro yeah no problem all right let's